hey guys good morning welcome back to my channel we have another video comptia pentest plus pt0002 that's the latest from comptia all those who are interested to go for comptia pentest plus this is for you i am going to discuss with you guys what are the topics what are the modules you got here in this exam what are the labs and in each module uh, what are the important points so for those who are planning to go for CompTIA pen test plus you will get an idea whether you want to go for this certification exam because if you have already done any other courses from EC council let's assume you have done CPENT you have done ECSA which is not now available which is not available now or LPT then you're going to see what is available in this CompTIA pen test plus so CompTIA pen test plus PT0002 that's the latest from CompTIA. My name is Sheikh Rashid Javed. I am Certified EC Council Instructor, Microsoft Certified Instructor and uh, uh, Cybercrime Intervention Officer. Network Security and Cloud is my area of interest. So if you want to get connected to me on LinkedIn, you can find me here. I'm available on LinkedIn. You can simply go here and search about me. I'm SRG CSC. So that's about my profile. I work as a corporate trainer with almost 30, glo 30 plus global certifications and if you want to know more about CompTIA Pentest Plus you can simply search CompTIA Pentest Plus and here you will go to the official link and here you will understand more about this exam whether it is for you what you are going to see in this exam you can also download exam guide you can see if you want to go for this certification exam you can see what skills you need to uh, you, you'll be learning in this exam jobs you can land with pentest plus and companies that contributed to the development of pentest plus here you can check about the exam and also you can type your name and all details to see the exam objectives and practice questions length of exam passing score everything is available here i already did this exam company pentest plus if you want to book this exam you can simply go to the link which is available here it will also uh, let you see if you want to learn more about this exam what are the different methods or what are the different options you have and you can go to online testing center here you can book the exam and then you need to take this exam you need to have an account also you can directly go to login.comptia.org so I'm trying to log into my account to show you what you can find in your account here you can find all your exam you can schedule your exam here you can manage your exam you can access your certification you can access your training if you have any uh, uh, things available here you can redeem your exam code so if I want to check my certifications I can go to my certifications here to show you guys that I've done this exam to help you get motivated before we start understanding what is in this so let's see I have already did, done this exam pen test plus so it is still valid all right so let's see what we have in this so course objectives on course completion you'll be able to uh, scope organizational cu customer requirements define the rules of engagement footprinting and gather intelligence evaluate human and physical vulnerabilities prepare vulnerability scans scan logical vulnerabilities analyze security results avoid detection and cover track the LAN and cloud, test wireless, test target mobile devices, attack specialized systems, do web application based attacks, do system hacking, how to write script and software development, leverage attack, how to do pivoting and penetrating, how to communicate during the pen test, how to summarize the report, how to recommend remediation and how to do post report delivery. So this can be accessed at learn.comptia.org which I have showed you earlier and this talks about the official link I have discussed about this so these are the table of content module 1 is scoping organizational customer requirements lesson 2 is define the rules of engagement footprinting and gathering intelligence is lesson 3 lesson 4 is evaluate human and physical vulnerability lesson 5 is prepare vulnerability scan lesson 6 scanning logical vulnerabilities lesson 7 analyze scanning result lesson 8 avoid detection and covering track Lesson 9, exploiting the LAN and cloud. 10 is testing wireless networks. 11 is targeting mobile devices. 12 is attacking specialized systems. 
13 is web application based attacks 14 is doing system hacking 15 is scripting and software development penetrate 17 is communicating during the pen testing 18 is summarize report components 19 is recommending remediation and 20 is doing post report delivery activities so exam code we have already seen that this exam will certify the successful candidate has knowledge and skills required to plan and scope a pen test engagement including vulnerability scanning understanding legal and compliance requirements analyzing results and produce a right report with remediation act uh, you know techniques 85 questions performance based and multiple choice questions 165 minutes 750 is the passing score recommended experience network plus security plus or equivalent knowledge minimum three or four years of hands-on information security or related experience there's no pre uh, no required prerequisite, but pen test is intended to follow competent security plus or equivalent experience and as a technical or hands-on labs so these are the labs once you go for the official training uh, so I recommend that you attend the official training but as an overview you can just see this uh, link because uh, I have tried to show you what is there in this uh, exam so the labs exploring the lab environment exploring the domain tools NS lookup dig and who is navigating open source tools understanding SET understanding safer phishing open VAS, web scanners and map scanning vulnerabilities scanning output navigating stenography so if you had done ethical hacking uh, you might have seen most of those tools or you know security plus some of those tools there demonstrating uh, enumerating techniques basics of metasploit vsftp manual and metasploit monitoring with air ng iot device which should on understanding or using sql injection using reverse and bind shell analyzing exploit code exploring program shell apply pen test automation and exploring password attack with john and hydra so these are all the labs you're going to do in this course now in lesson one it is all about you need to understand scoping organizational customer requirements in this you'll be understanding about technical controls administrative controls physical controls so what are controls administrative controls or security measures implemented to monitor the adherence to organizations policies and procedures physical controls restrict detect and monitor access to specific physical areas or assets technical or logical controls automate protection to prevent unauthorized access or misuse and include access control list IDS IPS all controls should use the principle of least privilege you'll be also learning about risks threats and vulnerabilities how to reduce the risk you'll be learning about different steps done in penetration testing so these are the five phase of hacking reconnaissance scanning gaining access maintaining access clearing talk we are clearing a uh, covering track which you might have already learned in ethical hacking but in penetration testing you have these phases planning scoping then you do reconnaissance scanning gaining access maintaining access covering track analysis and reporting so you're going to learn all those steps in detail in this course you're going to understand ways to maintain professionalism why, why, why there's a background check uh, of the team done how to identify report criminal activity how to maintain confidentiality so you'll be learning all that in detail so what are the different uh, compliance you know PCI DSS HIPAA GDPR understanding pen testing framework you'll be learning more about open web application security project uh, you how to check uh, you know and, and NIST uh, what is the use of OS, o, OSSTM what is the use of ISAF PTS so you'll be understanding all those frameworks in detail in lesson one in lesson two you'll be defining the rules of engagement how to assess environment considerations how to uh, what's the need of defining the project scope assessing the network evaluate web and mobile applications testing the cloud resource then you're going to identify restrictions recognize country state and local laws regulate the use of tools then you're going to learn more about how to provide the details adhering to the timeline selecting a strategy what is white gray or what is black box pen testing then how to prepare legal documents what is the use of signing an NDA what is MSA it's a contract that establish precedents and guidelines for any business document that are executed between two parties statement of work is a document that defines the expectations for a specific uh, business arrangement then you got SLA service level agreement so you'll be learning all those topics in detail so my idea here is to give you an overview do you really want to go for this course so that you get an overview what is there covered in this course lesson 3 talks about footprinting and gathering intelligence 
So here you're going to learn how to discover the target, how to gather information about the target, how to identify organizational contact through scrapping social media, scoring job listing, how to examine DNS information, how to gather essential data, how to make use of public source, optimizing search results, archive websites, searching for images, how to make use of compiled website information, how to enumerate the target website, how to investigate the website, and you'll be learning about these OSINT tools, Metagofil, how to use it, Foca, or Harvester, Recon, NG, Multi, and Shodan. So you'll be learning more about those tools and how to use them for gathering intelligence. Lesson four is how to evaluate human and physical vulnerabilities. Here you are going to understand how to exploit human psyche, how to use social engineering, phishing, how to do farming, how to use, uh, you know, what is spamming, what is wishing, what is smishing, how, what is impersonation. So you'll be understanding all those different types of social engineering attacks, how to exploit the physical security, how to circumvent security, how to scale the fences, how to detect motion, how to clone a badge. If you go as a penetration tester and you want to exploit the physical security, how you can do that, how you can gain access, how you can bypass locks, how you can do tailgating or piggybacking, or how you do dumpster diving, looking in the dustbin of the company for something which is sensitive, or how you do shoulder surfing, looking over someone's shoulder for pins and passwords, or how you use this very nice tool, which is social engineering toolkit to create a fake link and send it to the person so he clicks on it where you can capture his credentials. Lesson five is how to prepare a vulnerability scan. So how to do a vulnerability scan. You're going to understand those loopholes, how to exploit that unknown and how to reduce risk to data. Then you will be doing active reconnaissance, banner grabbing and mapping the network. You know, knowing more about the operating systems, the version of operating systems. You're going to detect defenses, how to identify load balancers, how to identify firewalls, how to identify antivirus and then bypass them on the target. You'll be using these tools should on senses, Nessus, OpenVos, and Nikto. So these are your vulnerability assessment tools. You'll be also understanding the life cycle of vulnerability. So first stage is to identify vulnerabilities or create exploit. Second is to coordinate, report vulnerabilities at generate CV, common vulnerability exposure. Then you release this and create a patch. Then you deploy the patch and test system. Then you record results and lessons learned. So you'll be learning all of these things in detail in this lesson five. In lesson six, you will understand how to scan logical vulnerabilities, how to scan identified targets using different types of scans. You might have seen that in Nmap. Is it uh, uh, null scan? Is it uh, a Christmas scan? You know, is it sin scan, full scan, half scan? Discovering network hosts, scanning ports like, you know, full scan, still scan. You'll be learning how to assess vulnerable web applications, how to crawl those web applications. You'll also, also be understanding what's the use of automating vulnerability using this protocol SCAP. How to check network traffic, how to snip the traffic with Wireshark, how to snip the traffic with Nessus, out, and how to gather ERP traffic. You'll also uncover war driving open access points and mapping uh, you know, this wireless using Wiggle. How to search for those access points. In lesson seven, you'll be understanding how to use Nmap. Like, you know, this is a Zen map here, which is a graphical version of Nmap. So how to discover Nmap and how to use various scripts. What is the use of timing and performance like you know, T1, T0, T1, T2, T3, T4, using TCP, UDP and scripting with Nmap. What is the use of Nmap default script. Enumerating network host, how to detect in interesting host, how to do fingerprinting the operating system, how to analyze input uh, output from scan, how to examine uh, network traffic, how to report with Nmap, how to interact or interface with Zenmap. So we'll be using both of them and how, how to expose vulnerable web servers. In lesson eight, you'll be understanding how to avoid detection and covering track, how to avoid, det avoid detection, flying under the radar, how to do spoofing, you know, whether it's a Mac or IP spoofing, how to use decoy, hiding yourself, how to cover your tracks. And you'll be using stenography where you can hide some information in an image or in video or audio or folder. These tools you'll be learning here in this module. It is an open stacko which you use to hide some hidden inf some information in maybe some image. How to establish a covert channel? You'll be understanding what is remote access, how to use secure shell, and what is the proxy. How to use them in this lesson eight. Lesson nine, you'll explore the LAN and cloud. How to enumerate the host? How you can enumerate websites using Nmap script? 
how to attack LAN protocols. Mac of tool you'll be using here, MITM, man the middle, we call it man adversary in the middle, or this is also known as on path attack. Then pass the hash, how you can do that, how you can use Metasploit and Armitage. Armitage is a graphical version of Metasploit. You'll be learning here how to use that Armitage. Metasploit is very important when you want to attack some server. How to discover cloud vulnerabilities, how to configure cloud assets, how to understand storage vulnerabilities, how to control identity and access management. You will learn how to explore cloud-based attacks, how to attack the cloud, how to harvest credentials, how to do DOS attacks, and then auditing the cloud. You'll be using Scott Suite and testing with PACQ in the cloud. In lesson 10, you will discover wireless attacks, how to do secure wireless transmission, how to gather signals, how to crack passwords or PIN, how to do MITM or Ableton, or you'll be using Aircrack NG, Kismet, and Wi-Fi 2. So this is Fern Wi-Fi Cracker here. You'll be using all those tools to understand different Wi-Fi attacks. In lesson 11, you will target mobile devices. You will recognize mobile device vulnerabilities. What are the different deployment models? How to control access? What is the use of EMM? How to identify vulnerabilities? How to do jailbreaking or routing? And launch attack on mobile device? How to use spyware? How to use what is the Trojan? How to use it on the mobile? Root kits, viruses, worms? How to do social engineering on mobiles? How to hack a Bluetooth signal? And Kali Linux mobile security framework mobile security testing guide you'll be using these tools you'll be understanding social engineering the way we use SCT you'll be using it here also so IOT ecosystem you'll understand uh, how to attack specialized systems how to discover IOTs how to outline vulnerabilities how to trigger an attack recognize other vulnerability systems like understanding data storage systems secure control systems virtual machine vulnerabilities outlining virtual environment recognizing vulnerabilities what is VM sprawl why it happens how to stop it what is hyperjacking the hypervisor and how to stop it in lesson 13 you will understand about web application based attacks you will understand OS top 10 you will know more about what is session hijacking what is CSF RF escalate privilege SQL injection directory travel cell cross-site scripting because these are the uh, common attacks which happen on web applications like you know this is a search exploit where you can search uh, you know more about those attacks or if there's a vulnerability available for an attack you'll be using beef WP scan SQL map and search exploit as a tool uh, you know on how to do web application based attacks in lesson 14 you'll be doing system ha hacking uh, through the PowerShell script you'll be using SSH telnet and or login what is the use of these tools and how to securely use them you'll be using Metasploit framework you'll be creating uh, some sort of shells here like MSF Venome, you'll be creating a shell and then uh, it will teach you how to use that uh, exploit to be delivered to the target. Lesson 14, you'll be learning scripting and software development, analyzing script and code samples, how to automate tasks using scripting, how to use bash shell, what is bash shell, what is PowerShell commandlet, what is Python, Ruby, Perl and JavaScript, a little introduction, how to create logic constraint, how to describe variable, how to apply logic and flow control, how to use operators, then automate pen testing using scanning port using automation or acquiring script and tools. You'll be learning all that in lesson 15. Lesson 16, you'll be learning how to leverage the attack, how to, how to pivot and penetrate, how to test credentials, how to compare password attacks, how to do attack on Windows and Linux, how to use password cracking tools, move throughout the system, how to use Metasploit to do a literal moment, how to obtain hash and how to do privilege escalation. Like you know how we can do you dump hashes with this command here how to use backdoors and trojans how to schedule tasks you'll be learning all that in this module 17 how to communicate during the pen testing you're going to define the communication plan what's the use of outlining the communication plan how to define contact how to uh, do communication triggers triggering common events how to recognize criminal activity how to identify false positive use built-in tools how to share findings with dradis and how to use nessus so this is your Nessus tool, you know, when you use it for information gathering. In lesson 18, you'll be understanding how to summarize report components, how to identify report audience, how to report to a senior management, including third party stakeholders, how to share information with technical staff, how to provide details to developers, list report content, define what's executive summary, how to step through methodology, how to define detailed attack narrative, how to determine risk appetite. So the risk tolerance, how much your organization can tolerate business impact 
how to suggest remediation you're going to see how to define best practice and reports how to store those reports how to secure reports distribution how to do ongoing documentation during test how to grab screenshots to be included in the report and what are the best practices to help you get started as a pen tester and then in 19 it is recommending remediation you're going to employ techniques so you give uh, you know when you work as a pen tester you give the remediation to the organization so how to employ technical controls how to do hardening the system how to use MFA what's its benefit what's the use of encrypting the password how to do patch management how to do certificate management you can also give them your uh, suggestion on how to implement policies and procedures how to enforce minimum password requirement, how to manage organizational mobile device, how to implement people security controls, how to use these other things here like operational consideration, job rotation, what's the use of time of day restriction, what's the use of mandatory vacation, user training, why it should be done, how it should be done, when it should be done, what are the physical controls, how to control access to building, how to use biometric controls and how to use video surveillance. And the last lesson 20 is how to do post report delivery. So in this you are going to learn how to remove shells, how to delete test credentials, how to eliminate tools and destroy test data once you are done with pen testing and what to do in follow up, how to gain clients acceptance, how to configure, sorry, how to uh, confirm the findings, how to plan the retest and how to review lessons learned. And then that's it. So I just tried to give an overview. It has been like 20 minutes. I did not want it to uh, be a big video but it, I wanted it to be a short for all those if you are interested in penetration test plus from CompTIA this is for you because you might be working in pen testing or you might be trying to work in pen testing maybe you did some other certification like uh, AC Council's uh, uh, CPENT or maybe LPT licensed pen tester earlier they used to have ECSA is no more there but you want to understand are you willing to go for this exam this just gives an overview what are the topics what are the labs and what you'll be learning in each of those modules all right so i did this certification and i'm planning for cloud plus then pen test uh, then uh, cas plus i wish you all a very best with this exam do like subscribe and share uh, my channel and thanks for the motivation i'll see you in some other video thank you